Today, Macon Bibb County released the third version of its Macon Action Plan. It's crafted by county leaders, foundations, and caring community members who want to see Macon thrive. The new plan proposes 19 strategies to improve public spaces in Macon, with neighbors and tourists in mind. Jasmine Lee tells us about one major project that would create a walkable plaza along a section of Cherry Street. This area just behind me would be permanently closed to create a new park between Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and 5th Street. I spoke to some businesses that say this plan could hurt their business. There are a lot of businesses downtown. A Friday night can become busy quickly in downtown Macon. And there's a lot of square footage inside of these businesses. Joseph Porter works at the Tubman Museum on Cherry Street. He says the area needs more parking, not parks. As these people are coming into our area, if we don't have the adequate spaces for them to uh, leave a vehicle and navigate between businesses, how can we expect downtown to grow? Downtown officials say nearly 3,000 people in Macon gave their input on the town's future. They've come up with 19 aspirational strategies to improve Macon bid. Now, they're proposing a plan to make Cherry Street between 5th Street and MLK Boulevard a people's place. I don't know the necessity of it. Um, we have a lot of parks in the general area, including dog parks. But his executive director, Harold Young, says the plan would connect the Sports Hall of Fame and the Tupman Museum, enhancing a family-friendly area. We could, we could do music uh, events down here. We can bring more businesses down here during the lunch hour if you want to come and sit in the green area and have lunch. Executive Director of the Urban Development Authority, Alex Morrison, says they'd create one big park in between 5th and MLK. It would include a picnic pavilion, shaded seating, a stage, and outdoor game space. He says it will be a place for tourists, too. Making it more part of our downtown culture um, to have that be a front door for our residents as well as for tourists, but also making it a very predictable and comfortable place for tourists to come as a home base. Now, Alex Morrison also says that past plans took five years with 90% of completion, and this plan could take three to five years. In Macon, Jasmine Lee, 13 WMAZ News. Cost estimates for the Cherry Street Plaza are between 10 and $20 million. All 19 projects could have a price tag of up to $268 million. One project would continue improvements at Linear Park. The park is in the historic Pleasant Hill neighborhood, and the county is trying to revitalize the area and connect it with downtown. They want to upgrade the basketball court, add an outdoor fitness area, a performance deck, a bike track, and more. Plus, the county says there is a need for more housing types and price points. They want to implement policy changes to diversify housing by building duplexes, triplexes, and townhomes.